AMD already pushed more cores into the mid-range desktop space with the Ryzen 5 and 7 chips, and Threadripper goes for the throat with 16 cores, 32 threads, and a powerful platform built for power users, content creators, and insatiable multitaskers. While most users will have to buy the chip on its own or in a pre-built system, AMD was nice enough to send us over a full press review sample, which includes two processors, uh, an Asus Zenith Prime X399 motherboard, 32 gigabytes of G-Skill Trident Z RGB RAM, and an M2 drive already installed with Windows installed on it and all the optimization features that are necessary for the Threadripper chips. Most users who buy Threadripper will see something that's a little more like this. These foam eye boxes contain the new Threadripper chips along with a mounting bracket for liquid coolers, a Torx screwdriver for installing the chip, and of course, the Ryzen Threadripper itself. Alongside our review kit, AMD also sent us this nice little display case with a Threadripper processor already in it. And it doesn't work, don't worry. Uh, but you can see just how huge this chip is. Uh, it sort of looks like there's actually a seam and there's two distinct CPUs on one piece here. And the reason for that is that it just has so many cores. We actually have two chips in-house, the 1950X, which is $1,000. It has 16 cores and 32 threads with a 3.4 gigahertz base clock and a four gigahertz boost clock. We also have the Threadripper 1920X, which has 12 cores and 24 threads, a 3.5 gigahertz base clock, and a four gigahertz boost clock. Uh, so, you know, there's good options here. Uh, and AMD has also changed their design here to match the Epic server chips. So they've got contacts on the CPU itself and pins on the motherboard. And the way you install this is actually, it comes in a little plastic holder and you slide it into the slot and then lower it down. So you don't have to worry about, as long as it's seated correctly in that, you're not worried about bending pins or screwing anything up like that. Uh, it just goes right in and it's super easy. Of course, platform is just as important as the processors themselves. And AMD's new X399 platform is perfect for high-end enthusiast desktops. The X399 platform supports quad-channel DDR4 RAM with ECC if you need it, and 64 PCIe 3.0 lanes, which is 20 more than Intel's current highest end offering, the i9-7900X. It's also important to note that all three Threadripper chips support that whole platform. It's not de-featured as you spend less on them. Unlike Intel's chips, where the CPU often determines how many PCIe lanes you can use and what kind of RAM you can use, even if the motherboard supports it. Thankfully, Maxon's Cinebench R15 rendering benchmark was exactly what we were looking for. It's a well-distributed workload, and it challenges even the highest-end PCs. The Ryzen 7 1800X actually set the multi-core record earlier this year with a score of about 2200, and that was massively overclocked. Our Threadripper 1950X, on the other hand, almost scored 3000 right out of the box without any overclocking at all. We also ran some 1080p gaming benchmarks, and they were quite impressive. The Threadripper 1950X managed to steal a couple frames per second in Deus Ex, Mankind Divided, and Civilization VI. But that said, it's a $1,000 CPU, and it didn't score that much higher than Ryzen chips in the 3 to 500 range. If all you're looking to do is gaming, this chip is way overkill, as is the 1920X. As we've said before with these high-end desktop components, most people just don't need this sort of power. These chips cost $1,000 from both AMD and Intel, and the systems that they sit in tend to cost at least that much. If you're just looking to do some gaming or email checking or browsing the web, this is completely overkill, like three to five times more than you need to be spending. We found in our testing that the Threadripper 1950X and 1920X have better multi-core performance, a better platform, and a better price than the Intel i9-7900X. If you really do need a computer that can handle workloads like ray trace lighting, encoding videos, rendering, and heavy computational work without tying the system up and waiting for it to finish those tasks, Threadripper is an obvious choice.